GX Box 3. So we will uh, create a FX5U project here and uh, same we will uh, create a GS HMI project and we will communicate both PLC and HMI and uh, we will see how window screen or pop-up screen works. So here <coughs> we have just created a new project of FX5U. So in FX5U first we need to here uh, assign IP address. The default IP address of FX5U is 192.168.3.250 so we'll assign it here 192.168.3.250 and uh, subnet mask will be 255 255 255 and 0 now we'll apply the settings now we'll check so there is no error found okay now close this one and uh, now we will create HMI screen so here GT designer 3 is open so new <coughs> screen so next so we will select GS series HMI next next now as we are using FX5 view so I am using FX IQF VLC so we will keep on doing the next and this is finish So first let's save the project, let's say GS HMI and save. Now we'll go to controller setting, and uh, you can see here FX5 view CPU has Ethernet address of this and uh, here in HMI also same so first of all we will create a, there is a by default one base screen is there so we will rename this base screen let's say we will put this name to home screen ok so we will create another screen and uh, screen number is 2 by default now we will name it as a main, <coughs> main menu and click OK. Now in home screen, we will uh, add some object and some text so that we can identify the screen. Let's change its color to blue. Okay. Now let's add text. So we'll add text that's home screen. This text is small, so let's okay. We'll change the font and now see it's a home screen. Now let's copy this. main menu paste it here now change the name to main menu okay now we have two screen that is home screen and main menu let's save it so come back to home screen we'll put an go to screen object so that we can switch in between two screen so we draw a button here it's a go to screen button now double click this one so we'll change the style a little bit it's okay now we'll add text I will write it main menu or just <coughs> main menu now increase the font 
see it's visible now so in we'll select the go to screen now same we copy and we'll paste it in main menu now from it will go to home screen now change the text to home okay now let's save it okay in plc we will uh, go to simulation mode we'll start the simulation as we don't have physical plc and hmi with with us so now you can see simulation is on now we'll similarly simulate HMI also. Now it's reading. You can see here HMI screen simulation is on. Now if I click here, I can home go to home and main menu as well. So it's working. Now we'll go to GOT environment setting and here you can see there is a base screen so we will assign address D0 over here and this is for overlap window or pop up window. So this is base screen and this is overlap window and you can see this is base screen which two screens are there and there is window screen. Now we will create some window screen. Generally window screens are used for some kind of alert pop up like fault any emergency condition. So we'll create a emergency fault here the window and uh, window screen is by default size is small compared to base screen. So we can adjust the color in properties. So and this is the transparency we putting it to zero and let's change the color to red okay now we'll put some text as it is emergency i will write emergency pressed text is small so i change the font now it's okay and uh, we'll put a inside a rectangle now it seems okay now let's copy this screen and uh, we will paste it and uh, we'll change the screen number to two and uh, we'll create another window screen or pop-up screen and we'll name it uh, air pressure fault and press ok so now another screen is created let's change the name to air pressure low and click ok so and let's save it now we will simulation and update it okay so we'll write a little logic inside the plc in ladder format to demonstrate you how this pop-up screen works so in device as we have already mentioned D0 and D1. D0 is for your window screen and D1 is your sorry D0 is your for base screen and D1 is your window screen. Now we will go to write mode so again you can online change the program. Okay. 
so here it will ask for the label while we put some contacts so let's say x0 is our emergency stop now it's not visible comment so you go to here and comment visible okay now let's say m100 we create a flag and named it as emergency stop same let's say no contact of x1 that is air pressure low and uh, we'll create a flag m101 and name it air pressure low now when our emergency is pressed we'll move one to d1 as d1 is assigned as a window screen device in the hmi setting just we saw and why k1 because the screen which contains emergency stop text is is screen number one and the screen which is air pressure low is screen number two so now we will use the reset button to close this window screen so now let's online change the program it's done now we will simulate so this is screen now I will press the emergency in ladder and its shortcut is shift enter you can see here my emergency is fault is enabled as you can see one is moved to d1 so emergency pressed as you see emergency pressed fault is screen number one now i stop emergency now still one is there so i close the window from there and you can see d1 value is zero now i give air pressure low and you can see air pressure low alarm pops up and the value in d1 is 2 now you can directly from ladder itself you can close the window i just reset pb and move 0 